Welcome back. Now, in uh, what could be a big setback for minors, the Supreme Court has rejected the plea by minors and the centre against levy of cess by states. It seems the Supreme Court is going to allow states to levy cess on mining. Ashmit is here with the, the details. Ashmit, this could have uh, serious implications, right? I, 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 even in terms of future leases. Indeed, just to run you through some of the companies that were actually contesting this before the court, uh, the likes of Sale, JP Associates, Hindalco, Hindustan Copper, Ultratech Cement, JK Lakshmi Cement, uh, Ambuja Cement, Tata Steel. These are some of the companies that had that were before the Apex Court. The issue being contested was, can a cess on mineral output be levied by the state governments? Now, mind you, uh, this issue, the clarity is coming from the Supreme Court after 9,000 days. It's a 25-year-old dispute. Uh, the center, the miners, the state governments were before the Apex Court. The question was being contested. Finally, the Apex Court has given clarity, and in this clarity, setback uh, for miners as well as for the center, a huge win for mineral-bearing states. The Supreme Court holding that, yes, the state legislatures, the state governments do indeed have the legislative competence to levy a tax based on mineral output. That is a big clarity coming in. Uh, the Supreme Court clarifying that this is not a domain where the parliament or the center uh, has uh, exclusive domain. The states do have the power to levy a tax. What the Supreme Court also says is that the MMDR Act, which governs uh, the levy of these uh, royalties, etc., do not place any limitation on the state government. So the state governments are at full liberty to go ahead and to levy that cess, uh, that state legislatures have the legislative competence uh, to tax the land. The Supreme Court also giving clarity that the mineral yield, the output that is coming from these mines, can in fact be used uh, as a basis for a levy of cess, a levy of tax, uh, by the state government. So again, a big, big uh, landmark judgment coming in from the Apex Court, coming from nine judges. In terms of impact, four aspects to look at. Number one, uh, this will, of course, translate into increased tax outgo for the cement companies, mining companies, the ones that we mentioned. Uh, on The second key impact is that it allows room for uh, legislative room for the state governments. They can either increase, decrease uh, this levy of cess, or the other mineral-bearing states can also contemplate similar action. Uh, Number three impact is, of course, as the setback coming in for the center. They had been arguing that the center has the exclusive domain over levy of such taxes. And finally, uh, a huge win as far as the state governments are concerned, mineral-bearing states, Jharkhand, Orissa, Karnataka, Chhattisgarh, all of these states with a vast number of mineral resources, they are now looking at thousands of crores in additional revenue over the life of a mining lease. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. That's an important story. We'll keep coming back to it for now. It's a break on the other side. We'll invite Keshav Bhajanka, Executive Director of Century Plyboard.